Wow, man, did you see that? That is an awesome looking detector. I can't wait to get the whole detector out, get all the specifics on it and see everything. But the Manicore, that's the, Manicore is a, a Persian uh, mythological figure, had the head of a man and the, the, uh, the sting of a scorpion and uh, that of a, uh, of a dragon or whatever, a griffin or whatever. It's kind of a mytholo mythological uh, creature that uh, was to dominate. And uh, I guess that's kind of what they're saying that the Manicore is. It's going to be powerful and it's going to devour, it's going to dominate. I guess that's what's coming in the name because it's kind of a, a strange name for a detector there, I thought. So I looked that up. And, uh, but yeah, it's looking really good. And uh, I've got it pulled up on the computer right here in front of me. And as we look at this, we can look at the housing first and we can see that that housing is a, a very robust housing. It's going to have a big light and backlight, going to have big numbers, got the depth, it's got all the other things that go with it. But what's interesting about this, unlike the Equinox 800, it's going to have down there on the bottom, kind of like that E-Track they had and also the CTX 3030. What this reminds me of, it shows you those programmable tones and uh, programmable modes that you can put in there. And it kind of looks kind of like the uh, Equinox, which I love that art, that, that feature, you know, because I can tell it really can separate. You can know what trash and what, what isn't trash, and you don't really get confused on that stuff. And that, that's what it looks like right there. Uh, the whole housing looks more robust than the 800, so it looks like if you took the CTX 3030 and you mated it with the Equinox 800, you're coming up with a Mana Core. And uh, this is waterproof. It looks very uh, rugged and looks very good. As we go to the coils, let's zoom in on the ears because that was the problem that Mind Lab was having was those ears kept breaking off on the coils. And it looks like that they have beefed up the coil and reinforced it with uh, two, two little more reinforcement bars coming down from the top to the bottom. But also look at the ears. The ears look like they have been reinforced uh, quite a bit there. To keep that uh, that breaking as they were doing uh, on the other on the Equinox 800, and the shaft. I like this shaft. It's not the steel shaft that came with the Equinox. It's the fiber carbon shaft. It looks like the cuff also is going to be able to be adjustable to slide back and forth on the the shaft. Uh, the shaft is also collapsible. That's going to make it even more transportable as you're going across uh, traveling, like I go to uh, England every year or things like that. And I'm hoping this detector is going to come out before I go to England over next March. But it looks really good. And uh, But like I said, uh, we don't know everything that's going to have yet. We don't know the depth that it can dive with. And uh, so it looks really nice. It looks like a very big upgrade for the uh, Equinox 800. And I love the Equinox 800. I have two of them. And, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen here and what all is going to come out. And uh, don't want to hype it up too much before it gets here. But it definitely is going to be something that I'm going to put in my arsenal when it does come out. I love it. I love MindLab products, not because I just love the brand and I'm a big MindLab person. It's because of the performance. I have found more with my MindLab than I have with any other detector I've ever had. I just really like it. So. Uh, until it comes out, I just want to say happy hunting guys and girls and just keep on swinging and may you find all the great bucket list treasures that you've always desired. Until then, God bless.